women often seek out mammograms every October, but how effective are they exactly? The answer is only 30% effective. Young women have dense breasts by definition, which don't show up on a 2D mammogram. That leaves a very large room for error for catching breast cancers. Mammogram technology is already 120 years old and has become an antiquated test and screening modality. Join Dr. Lewandowski, MD, to understand what you should do instead. Let's talk about breast cancer, the most common cancer in women. How good is a mammogram to detect breast cancer? So let's, let's look at a woman who is uh, 40 to 50 and a 2D mammogram. How good is it? It's about 30%. Okay. So there is a breast cancer right there, which is hard to see because this woman has dense breasts because she's young and young women have dense breasts because th there is proliferation in the breast tissue and they have breast tissue that's uh, having lots of support structure and more sturdiness and that's by definition the case. Um, so we try to improve this imaging by doing three-dimensional mammography, which is showing this lesion better. It's right there. But in fact, it's actually looking more like this. This is a breast MRI. This tumor is huge. There is a different type of breast cancer around it and there are lymph nodes around. So there is a total sense of false security when you go to standard of care for monitoring because I can't tell you how many like gynecologists I talk to and they say, okay, you're 40, we're gonna send you for a mammogram. And the question is, okay, well, what is my risk of breast cancer? Because if my risk of breast cancer is this, like, so, so with the way, like, we know the most about breast cancer of all cancers as far as screening, as far as risk factors, as far as how to monitor it, because women are so awesome and, like, and, and they've done studies and reported outcomes. And we know that when someone is here, uh, you know, they're below average risk or around average risk, which is about 12% lifetime, you can probably get away with the mammogram, but not this mammogram. Like, never do a two-dimensional mammogram. That's, that technology is over 100 years old, and I bet you no one is using a cell phone that's over, well, they weren't possible. I actually, my daughter was, uh, was saying, I, I think I need to talk to my, um, to my friends now, you know, and, uh, and I think I need a phone. Like, um, okay, I guess we'll get you a house phone. You know, you can have a house phone and you can call house phone yeah you know one of those things that you use a dial and you so like what is that yeah so even that technology is less than 100 years old right but but we, we're using for screening we're using technology that's 120 years old uh and thinking that it's okay but you know a tesla is you know you're driving a tesla and getting your 2d mammogram blows my mind so at the very least you know an average risk woman should get a 3d mammogram just because it's you know the likelihood that there's going to be a problem is going to be relatively low but if you're high risk or high intermediate risk, insurance will actually pay for this. You might need to do some massaging, this and that, but they'll actually cover this because, again, there is nothing magical about um, certain genes. It's really what is your risk and how to assess it. And I can't tell you, like, so in the last year, I, I saw two women in their 40s who came in and uh, saw me with lumps that they felt within six months of a normal mammogram. And they said, Doc, like, how is it possible? Like, here it is, here's the lump. But I had a completely normal mammogram six months ago. Like, did it develop in the last six months? Of course it didn't. It just, if it's a crappy test and you don't know how to appropriately risk stratify someone, you're gonna miss it. Um, Common denominator, right? So let's talk about cardiovascular disease because, again, the recurrent theme that I was seeing is that if you don't succumb to that breast cancer and you're at risk for it, you're for sure at risk for cardiovascular disease. And if you address one, you for sure address the other. So this is a cross section through a coronary artery, and we're looking on the inside. So this is how we come out of the manufacturer.